Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Strands of Grace. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. So I want to apologize in advance if you hear a lot of lawn mowing sounds. Someone decided to mow their lawn as soon as I started to record, but the video must go on. Today, I want to talk about fear, anxiety, and worry. And this is something that the Lord has really been helping me with lately as I have surrendered it to him, as I have, you know, been constantly surrendering it to him. And um, it's actually something that I've been seeing a lot on social media lately, as far as just like encouragement when it comes to this topic through scripture and also through coping skills. So at first I wasn't sure if I should talk about it, but you know, what's the harm in more encouragement in this? And so I just want to let y'all know what I have been learning. So fear, anxiety, and worry, you know, I feel like all of those things just kind of work together and do the most. But this is something that I have been struggling with for as long as I can remember. I'm not going to say it's something that I'll always struggle with because I am not going to speak that over my life but is something that has been present in my life. And I feel like all of these things can become so overwhelming and so crippling, you know, like if we let it control our lives to a certain extent. And so I've just been trying to be really intentional about putting my trust and my hope in the Lord. And so lately God has brought to my remembrance Matthew 6. And Jesus says a lot of good things in Matthew 6, but one thing particular that like really stuck out to me like one verse in particular was matthew 6 34 which says so don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will bring its own worries today's trouble is enough for today and when i read that i felt so encouraged and so validated in my emotions just like as a human being um, because I really felt like Jesus was validating our feelings, like saying, yeah, today has enough trouble of its own. Let's, let's focus on today. Let's focus on surrendering to the Lord today. Let's focus on having hope for today. Because at the end of the day, you know, all of these things that we're worrying about, they're temporary. They'll pass away. You know, if we worry about what we're going to eat, if we worry about what we're going to wear, if we're worrying about how we're going to pay our bills, all of these things are temporary and all of these things can really wreck our faith and really become a huge distraction when it comes to our trust in the Lord if we are not intentional about surrendering all of those things, all of those anxieties and worries and even just fear you know, that something is going to go horribly wrong to the Lord. And the word actually says, you know, earlier in that chapter, it says, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto us. And it's, it's not just material things. It's peace and comfort and security that will also be added unto us as we seek the Lord, as we, as we make an effort to, to trust in the Lord. And so something else when i read that scripture when when jesus said do not worry about tomorrow jesus is also acknowledging that you know tomorrow next month next week next year those have enough trouble of its own like as humans we really don't have the capacity to worry about so much at one time like it can become so overwhelming so let's just focus on today let's focus on casting our cares on the Lord today let's focus on having hope and let's focus on being encouraged for today and um, I think that's also why the Bible says that we need to renew our minds like it's a faith walk just to get through each day it's a faith walk just to, just to surrender to the Lord on a daily basis but the Lord says his mercies are new every morning I think it's so cool that God asks us to renew our mind in him daily while also saying that his mercies are new every single morning so he actually gives uh, gives us an opportunity each day to to trust in him again and so i was thinking okay rather than worrying about how i am going to trust the lord in next year and worry about how i'm going to trust the lord next month for this thing that i'm worrying about i'm going to focus on trusting the Lord today because today has enough worries of its own that I need to surrender to the Lord. The word also says that 
trials and tribulations will come, but we need to take heart because God has already overcome the world. And so when I know that my hope is in Christ, when I know that my hope is not in my overwhelming emotions, my hope is not in circumstances, my hope is not in what happens in my day to day. I know that my hope is in the Lord who is eternal. Like the Lord is there today. The Lord was there yesterday and the Lord is in tomorrow. The Lord is the sure thing. And I, I find it so comforting that putting hope in the Lord is going to bring me peace. And um, because the Lord is faithful, like the Bible says that the Lord is faithful even when we are not faithful. So like, even when we have moments where we are just so worried and we're just so anxious and we're just so fearful and we just feel so down. And even when those times last for a couple of days or a couple of weeks or a couple of months, the Lord is still faithful to us. Even in that, like, even when we don't meet the Lord, the Lord is meeting us. And I just find that so comforting like you know what that's a God that I want to put my hope in that's a God that I want to put my trust in a God that is faithful even when I am not faithful a God that is understanding even when I'm processing the cares of life and even when I mess up and even when I fall down and have to get back up you know I I want to serve a God who's there for me like that and that's a God that I can put my hope in that's a God that I'm going to, to surrender my emotions to. Emotions were never meant to be our God. You know, we were never meant to serve our emotions. Um, we were always meant to serve God and submit all of those things to him so that we can live well and that we can live at peace. And so I just want to encourage you and say that like living in peace like having peace of mind is so possible and when we you know trust in the lord he will keep us in perfect peace like that's a promise like <sighs> it's a promise it's a promise and so stepping into that promise you know being aware of that promise is so crucial i'm going to take it one day at a time and i'm going to put my hope in the Lord one day at a time. I'm going to make an effort to do it today and I'm going to wake up and decide to do it tomorrow. And the Lord has provided new mercies for that. And so, yeah, take heart, take heart people because God has already overcome the world and he already knows what's coming. He already knows what is going to happen in our lives and, and he has already provided for it. We just have to hope in him. So, yeah, I hope that this helped and I hope that y'all have a great coming rest of your week. Bye.